50 home runs. And Hi there, Gill at Close Call Sports for the Electronic Strike Zone's 2D problem. The box graphic will indicate that this pitch was off the plate, yet called a strike. This is a cutter. Did it get back to home plate? Because it has a certain horizontal break to it. As we talked about, the graphic is 2D, and it doesn't account for the depth, because the PX value is recorded at the front edge of home plate. But there's a PFX value, which is the horizontal break of negative 0.56 for this pitch, which means the pitch is coming back toward, it's tailing back toward the center of the plate. The only question is, it started out, but did it come back enough to touch, just nick a tiny bit of the edge of the, of the plate? Because all you need is that tiny overlap for it to be considered a strike, any part of the ball, any part of the zone. So I annotated the image, let's remove the photo, blow up the annotation, and it looks like there's a tiny bit of overlap, but is it accurate? Do we know for sure? And the answer is no, we don't know for sure. And that's the whole point. With, with the graphic only capturing the front edge of home plate per the StatCast numbers, we just don't know. Here's what K-Zone has to say. Yeah, so first we took the data from StatCast, we got the trajectory polynomial, and I was able to create an XYZ path from the mound to the plate. Props to ESPN to recognizing the depth of home plate, but we have a problem. They get the data from StatCast. Number one, PXPZ, or front edge capture. Number two, PFX, the horizontal break, is a 40-foot capture. Look at that, 40 feet. Anyone who's been on the field tells you the ball acts differently in the final 20 than the first 40. Why does late movement exist? Aerodynamics, physics inertia. There are a whole bunch of sciences for this. Why can't we get computers to accurately measure this if we're going to try to use them? We can't use computers if we can't trust them. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, and send us any rules questions because we'll break them down for you here at Close Call Sports.